let's kick things off with a revelation that might have your GP spluttering into his Earl Grey. If you're living the carnivore life, the standard blood lipid panel is about as much use as a chocolate teapot at a summer fete. This test, long hailed as the NHS's crystal ball for heart disease, well for us meat munchers, it's about as insightful as Mystic Meg on a bad day. All it does is send folks into a right old flap, doubting a diet that's done wonders for their waistline and their well-being. The old diet heart hypothesis, pointing the finger at saturated fat and cholesterol, has more holes than a colander, especially once you bin the sugar and seed oils. Picture this, you're feeling top-notch on your all-meat regime, but your doctor clocks your high LDL and suddenly you're treated like a walking episode of casualty. Happens every day. All thanks to a muddle over what real metabolic health actually looks like. See, context is everything. On a zero-carb, all-animal nosh-up, your body handles fats like a black cab handles London traffic, completely differently to the average punter on a fry-up and chips. The numbers might look identical, but what they're actually telling you is as different as a pint of bitter and a cup of bovril. It's like seeing a car doing 100. Are you at Silverstone or outside the local primary school? Without the full story, the number's as useful as a waterproof tea bag. For us carnivores, the body's in high performance mode. Think Lewis Hamilton, not Mr. Bean. So don't let a single number rain on your parade. If you're feeling chipper, that's the proof in the pudding. No need to fret over a daft bit of paper. Let's break down the numbers your doctor talks about. Think of your blood as a river and fats need boats, lipoproteins, to travel. The main players, LDL, low-density lipoprotein, HDL, high-density lipoprotein, and triglycerides. None of these are cholesterol itself. They're vehicles carrying cholesterol and fats to where your body needs them. LDL is often called bad cholesterol, but it's actually essential, delivering energy and vitamins to your cells. HDL, the so-called good cholesterol, acts like a recycling truck, collecting excess cholesterol and bringing it back to the liver. High HDL is a sign your body's cleanup system is working well, something that often improves on a carnivore diet. Triglycerides are simply fats, stored in your body and found in your diet. When you eat too many carbs, your liver turns the excess into triglycerides, which can signal your body is struggling with sugar overload. High triglycerides mean too much energy, especially from sugar. On a carnivore diet, triglycerides usually drop, reflecting better metabolic health. The standard panel measures the boats, but not how well your river is flowing. Context is everything. Cholesterol has been wrongly cast as the villain for decades. In reality, it's vital for your body. Every cell membrane contains cholesterol, giving structure and function. Your brain is packed with cholesterol, essential for memory and learning. Hormones like testosterone, estrogen and even vitamin D are made from cholesterol. Lowering cholesterol too much can harm your mood, cognition and hormones. Your liver makes most of your cholesterol tightly regulating levels regardless of what you eat. The myth that eggs or red meat dangerously spike cholesterol has been debunked. Cholesterol is found in arterial plaques, but it's there to help repair damage, not cause it. When arteries are damaged by sugar, seed oils or high blood pressure, cholesterol is part of the healing process. Blaming cholesterol for heart disease is like blaming firefighters for fires. They're there to help, not to harm. The real culprits are the things that damage your arteries in the first place. Cholesterol is the body's repair crew, not the enemy. Focus on what causes the damage, not the repair. Many new carnivores see their LDL cholesterol rise and panic, but this rise is expected and actually signals a healthy, fat-adapted metabolism. When you stop eating carbs, your body switches to burning fat for fuel, needing more LDL to transport that energy. More LDL means more delivery trucks on the road, not more disease. The type of LDL matters. On a high-fat, low-carb diet, LDL particles are usually large and buoyant, less likely to cause problems. Standard tests don't distinguish between healthy and unhealthy LDL types. Dave Feldman calls healthy, lean carnivores with high LDL, lean mass hyper-responders. They also have high HDL and low triglycerides. Dr. Paul Mason compares high LDL in carnivores to more ambulances during a marathon. It's a sign of increased demand, not disaster. The high LDL is a physiological adaptation, not a pathology. The standard panel misses the bigger picture. Don't let a single number scare you away from real health improvements. 
Look at the whole context, not just the LDL. Your body knows what it's doing. For decades, studies have blamed red meat for heart disease, but these studies are deeply flawed. They can't separate meat from the fries, soda, and lifestyle choices that often go with it. Health-conscious people avoid red meat and do other healthy things, while meat-eaters in studies often eat more junk food. No controlled trial has ever shown that meat alone, without sugar and seed oils, causes heart disease. The real problem is the combination of fat and sugar, which spikes insulin and drives disease. On a carnivore diet, there's no sugar. Fat is used cleanly for fuel. The food industry has shifted blame from sugar and processed foods onto meat, creating confusion and poor health. We're blaming the cow for what the cookie did. If you look at one number on your lipid panel, make it the triglyceride to HDL ratio. This ratio is a powerful indicator of insulin sensitivity, the root of most chronic diseases. High triglycerides and low HDL signal insulin resistance, often caused by too many refined carbs. A good ratio is below 2 MGRDL, ideally close to 1. On a carnivore diet, triglycerides drop and HDL rises, dramatically improving this ratio. People often see triglycerides below 70 and HDL above 60 or 70. This reflects a healthy, efficient metabolism. Yet someone with a great ratio might have high LDL and still be told they're at risk. The TGHDL ratio tells the real story of metabolic health. Ignore the scary LDL number. Focus on the ratio. It's the best snapshot of your true risk. Numbers need context. As LDLC comes under fire, experts now focus on APOB, the number of LDL particles. On a standard diet, high APOB can mean higher risk, but for carnivores, it's just a sign of more fat transport. It's like saying a busy highway is dangerous, ignoring whether the drivers are sober and the roads are safe. LPA is another marker, mostly determined by genetics, with little research on its relevance for healthy carnivores. All these markers focus on the delivery trucks, not the condition of the road. The real issue is the health of your artery lining. If it's healthy, the number of particles doesn't matter. Sugar, seed oils and inflammation damage the lining. Carnivore diets remove these threats. The number of lipoproteins is largely irrelevant in a healthy, low-inflammation body. Focus on what damages the arteries, not just the cholesterol traffic. If the standard lipid panel is a distraction, what should you measure? The best markers are fasting insulin and high-sensitivity CRP, HSCRP. Low fasting insulin means you're not on the road to diabetes or heart disease. Low HSCRP means little inflammation, no fire in your arteries. On a carnivore diet, both markers often drop to optimal levels. Also, check your waist size, blood pressure, energy, sleep, and mental clarity. Real-world signs of health. A healing, thriving body isn't secretly building disease, no matter what your cholesterol says. Focus on what truly matters. The real proof is in the results. Thousands are reclaiming health on a carnivore diet. People once destined for medication and decline are thriving. John, in his 50s, lost 50 pounds, normalized his blood pressure and ended joint pain, despite a high LDL. His triglycerides, HDL, insulin and CRP all showed perfect metabolic health. He ditched the statins and never felt better. Sarah, with autoimmune issues, saw her symptoms vanish and stopped all medications after going carnivore. These stories aren't rare, they're the norm when you remove the real dietary triggers. People resolve diabetes, obesity, depression and more, not just managing symptoms but achieving true health. When you see these changes, the fear about high LDL seems absurd. Trust your body's signals over abstract numbers. Real health is visible and felt. The obsession with LDL is a relic of a failed hypothesis. For carnivores, the standard lipid panel is not just unhelpful, it's misleading. Ask your doctor about context, not just numbers. Demand tests for fasting insulin and HSCRP. There's no evidence that high LDL with perfect metabolic health is dangerous. Trust your energy, clarity and well-being. These are the true signs of health. The body is resilient and intelligent. Give it the right fuel and it will thrive. Don't let a number on paper override your real-world health. Question everything, demand better evidence, and trust your own experience. Carnivore Optimized. This isn't just an e-book. It's a call to arms. This is a radical blueprint for those who refuse to bow to the modern health crisis. It's built on ancestral truth. 
forged in pain and written by Jonathan Griffiths. Autistic athlete, spine disease warrior, and founder of Carnivore Muscle, this 80-plus page guide dismantles the lies we've been sold and hands the power back to you. You'll learn why meat heals and fake food harms, how to restore energy, hormones, and focus, strength training without burnout, tools to beat fatigue, gut issues, and brain fog, how to stay strong in a weak world. Every purchase is a stand against the globalist agenda, fueling a movement to return health, power, and freedom back to the people. Rebuild yourself, reclaim your fire, own your biology, download now,